দেখো ফার্স্ট অফ অল যদি তোমাদের এটা ইয়ে হয়তো রেজুমে হয়তো রেজুমেতে অলওয়েজ মানে যদি ভালো ফর্মাল ছবি থাকে ভালো ফর্মাল ছবি মানে যদি তোমাদের কাছে নর্মাল নর্মাল যে পাসপোর্ট সাইজের ছবি তুললো ইয়ে থেকে দোকানে গিয়ে সেই সেই ছবি থাকে সেরকম ছবি হলো আর যদি এমনি নর্মাল ধর কোনো কনফারেন্স বা কোনো যদি ফর্মাল ছবি থাকে শ্যুট করে থাকে তো বোধহয় ছবি একটা লেফট পোর্সে এখানে একটা জায়গাতে ছবি সাটাবে ঠিক আছে রেজুমে তো অলওয়েজ এটা এই জিনিসটা ম্যাটার করে আর কিছু না রেজুমে এই জিনিসটা হলো দেন নেক্সট মানে কাইন্ড অফ সেভেন্টি সেভেন্টি টোয়েন্টি বা এখান থেকে না যে তুমি ইয়ে করো কোথায় ইয়ে থাকো কত কিছু মানে ডায়েট ডিটেলস লিখে দরকারে সিম্পল লিখবে তোমার এখানে দুটো কন্ট্যাক্ট নাম্বার একটা হোক বা দুটো কন্ট্যাক্ট নাম্বার তোমার একটা ইউআরএল লিঙ্ক লিঙ্ক ইউআরএল তোমার ইমেল আইডি ঠিক আছে হচ্ছে যদি তুমি কলকাতা থাকো তো সামথিং কলকাতা ধর তুমি বেহালা থাকলে তো বেহালা কমা কলকাতা এরকম টাইপের বুঝেছো সিম্পল তার থেকে বেশি তোমার ডিটেলস থাকা দরকার নেই এটা ম্যাক্স টু ম্যাক্স তোমার বাইরে এটার মধ্যে হয়ে যাবে নেক্সট এখানে তারপর দেখবে স্কিলস 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 এর এখানে তুমি যত জানো যতটা পারবে ততটা ভরবে স্কিলস ঠিক আছে যত তুমি স্কিলস জানো তোমার যতটা পারবে এভাবে এক লাইনে এইভাবে লিখতে এভাবে মাঝখানে প্যারাগ্রাফ না দিয়ে লিখবে যদি হ্যাঁ মনে হলো যে না আমার অনেক আছে আটছে না তখন ঠিক আছে মাঝখানে প্যারাগ্রাফ দিলে বা কমা দিয়ে লিখলে লিখবে এখানে যত তুমি আহ যেসব টুলস গুলো জানো স্কিল যেমন পাইথন প্যান্ডাস নাম পাই ঠিক আছে ডেটা মডেলিং প্রেডিকটিভ মডেলিং ঠিক আছে পাওয়ার বি আই যত আছে ওগুলো সব লিখবে এক এক করে ইভেন যদি আরো নিজে থেকে কিছু সফট স্কিল থাকে ম্যাক্সিমাম লিখবে তার বেশি না ডিপার্টমেন্ট থেকে আমি পাস আউট করছি সেই ধরনের কথা লিখবে না এখানে প্রপার লিখবে যে তুমি কিসে কি মানে কোন ডোমেন উপর প্রপারলি কাজ করেছো কাস্টমার রিভিউ রিপোর্টের উপর কাজ করেছি কিছু কিছু ডোমেন সাপোর্ট করেছি এই ধরনের কিছু একটা কথা বাট এর টেম্পলেট প্রচুর পাওয়া যায় এটে আমি দিয়ে দেবো দরকার হলে তারপরে এখানে ফার্স্ট এর এখানে ওয়ার্ক এক্স তোমরা এখন কোনো বিয়ে না ফ্রেশার্স তো এখানে তুমি ওয়ার্ক এক্স এখানে লিখবে ওয়ার্ক এক্স এখানে সিম্পল ফার্স্ট এর লিখবে এখানে পিসিএস গ্লোবাল ঠিক আছে বা ফুল নেতার পিসিএস গ্লোবাল আর সামথিং তুমি যবে থেকে আছো ধরো টু লিখবে কোম্পানির উপর ঠিক আছে কোম্পানি কি লিখবে এই কোম্পানিতে বেসিক্যালি তোমার লিখবে হয়েছে যেখানে তুমি ইয়ে করছো আহ ওটাকে বলা হচ্ছে কনসালটেন্সি ঠিক আছে যে টেকনোলজিক্যাল সলিউশন আমরা বানাই ঠিক আছে ওই ওইটি ওয়ান লাইনে ডিসক্রিপশন লিখবে আইটি আইটি কনসালটেন্সি ঠিক আছে এটা তোমার কোম্পানি একটা লাইনে ডিসক্রিপশন হয়ে গেল ঠিক আছে স্যার আরো কথা বলুন একটু মানে এখানে তো কোম্পানির ব্যাপারে তোমরা ই লিখতে তুমি যদি কোম্পানি থাকে তাহলে তো কোনোদিনও সিম্পল লিখতে পারবে না যে ট্রেনিং ইনস্টিটিউট এন্ড অল এখানে অলওয়েজ লিখবে যে কোম্পানিতে তুমি কিসে কাজ করেছো বা কোম্পানিতে কিছু তো প্রজেকশন দেখা যাবে তো মানে ওয়ান লাইন এন্ড অনলি সিঙ্গেল ওয়ান লাইন ডেসক্রিপশন লিখবে আর ডেসক্রিপশনে অলওয়েজ লিখবে সামথিং रिलेटेड মানে যেটা ওয়ার্ডও থাকা উচিত যেগুলো হচ্ছে তোমার আইটি কনসালটেন্সি যেখানে আমরা টেকনোলজিক্যাল সলিউশনস প্রোভাইড করে আমি বাংলাতে বলে দিলাম তুমি পরে ইংলিশে লিখে 
এটা হয়ে গেল দিয়ে এখান থেকে তারপর তুমি তারপর তোমার হবে মানে কাজ এখান থেকে তোমার হয়ে যাবে করা প্রজেক্ট ঠিক আছে আইলে তুমি বুলেট পয়েন্টে লিখতে পারো বুলেট পয়েন্ট দিয়ে লিখতে পারো যে সামথিং একটা লাইন লিখবে যদি তোমার একটা প্রজেক্ট হয় সেখান থেকে ওয়ান লাইন টু টু লাইন ডেসক্রিপশন আবার একটা লাইন লিখলে ওয়ান লাইন টু টু লাইন ডেসক্রিপশন ঠিক আছে হেডিং নয় ঠিক আছে যেরকম তোমার কলেজে বা প্রজেক্টে যেমন হেডিং হয় হেডিং কোন লিখবে না ওখানে লিখবে ডেসক্রিপশন ঠিক আছে আজকে ধরো মানে ইন এক্সাম্পল তোমাকে বলছি সাপোজ হাউস প্রাইস প্রেডিকশন যেটা তুমি প্রজেক্ট করলে ঠিক আছে হাউস প্রাইস প্রোডাকশন প্রোজেকশন তুমি যদি এখানে প্রেডিকশন তুমি এখানে লিখো তো ইন্টারভিউ ইন্টারভিউ যদি হাতে নাই রেজুমে তখন দেখবে যে হাউস প্রাইস প্রোডাকশন তো সবাই জানে যারা ডেটা সায়েন্স বা ডেটা অ্যানালিস ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে তারা প্রত্যেককে ওই প্রোজেক্টটা করে উঠে আসে সেটা তুমি এখন লিখতে পারবে না তখন কি করবে তুমি ধরো ওখানে এবার তোমার আসবে তোমার স্কিল তুমি কথাটা স্টোরি ডেভেলপ করতে পারছ না তো স্টোরি করো তুমি হয়তো বলতে হবে যেহেতু এটা কলকাতা তুমি কলকাতা ধরো সামথিং একটা একটা যেটা ইয়ে বলে গ্রুপ গ্রুপ মিনস বিল্ডার্স গ্রুপ ঠিক আছে যারা রিয়েল এস্টেট গ্রুপ থাকে সাম রিয়েল এস্টেট গ্রুপে তুমি কোন একটা এরিয়াতে কাজ করেছো সেখানটা স্টোরি বলে সেখানে সাম নাম্বার্স লাইক তুমি এইট পারসেন্ট তার রেভিনিউ ইনক্রিজ করেছো ঠিক আছে বা টু পারসেন্ট কস্ট ডাউন করেছো ঠিক আছে এই ধরনের নাম্বার কাইন্ড অফ তো এই যে এই যে এভাবে যে গল্পটা বানানো না এই গল্পটা প্রপার একটু ভালো একটু ইয়ে করো মানে ব্লগস পড়ো দরকার হলে একটু ডেপথ রিসার্চ করো বাট এটা করতেই হবে তোমাদেরকে যখনই তোমার রেজুমে তুমি নাম্বার চলে আসে না তখনই তোমার রেজুমে সবার আগে প্রায়োরিটি হয়ে গেল ঠিক আছে মানে সবার আগে মানে সবাই যতই যখনই তোমার মানে যখন তোমার ধর একশোটা অ্যাপ্লাই করছে ওখানে ঠিক আছে তার মধ্যে যদি দশটা ইয়ে থাকে এক্সপিরিয়েন্স থাকে আর তোমার যদি নব্বইটা যদি ফ্রেশার্স থাকে ওখানে যখন তুমি এই ধরনের নাম্বার থাকবে না তখন ইয়ে দেখবে তোমার এই রেজুমে যেন হাতে মানে নাম্বার দিয়ে তোমার প্রথমে তোমার সিলেক্ট করে প্রথমে তোমার ইন্টারভিউর জন্য সিলেক্ট করে লিখতে পারো এখানে যদি তোমার মনে হয় না লিখলেও চলবে যদি মনে যে না হ্যাঁ আমি আমি গ্রাজুয়েশন প্রজেক্টটা ভালো করেছি আমি ভালো আইডিয়া আছে ঠিক আছে আমি একটা দুটো লাইন লিখবো তো এখানে ধরো নিচে এখান থেকে তুমি ধরো ফাইনাল ইয়ার প্রজেক্ট সামথিং লিখে এখানে লিখে দিতে পারো হয়ে গেল তাছাড়া তোমাদের এক্সট্রা কিছু লিখতে পারো লাস্টে গিয়ে তোমার কলেজে লিখতে পারো তোমার হয়তো দেয় না ঠিক আছে আমার আমার যদি রেজুমে হতো আমি যদি কোনোদিন লিখতাম আমি অলরেজ লিখতাম আমার গ্রাজুয়েশন অ্যান্ড পাস আউট ইয়ার ঠিক আছে কারণ পাস আউট ইয়ারটা দেওয়া দরকার পাস আউট ইয়ার দেখলেও দেখে যে কবে কতদিন তোমার এক্সপিরিয়েন্স হয়েছে কতটা তোমার কি হচ্ছে रिजेक्ट कर রেজুমেতে কিছু কিছু কিওয়ার্ডস থাকে ঠিক আছে তুমি যখনই একটা জব ধরো তুমি আছে কোন কোম্পানিতে ডেটা অ্যানালিস্ট ওয়েসার জন্য অ্যাপ্লাই করছো ঠিক আছে অ্যাপ্লাই যখন করছো ডেটা অ্যানালিস্টে সেই সময়তে তোমার ওখানে দেবে জব ডেসক্রিপশন বলে থাকে ঠিক আছে জব ডেসক্রিপশন অনেক লাইন লেখা থাকে অনেক পয়েন্ট লেখা থাকে অনেক পয়েন্ট লেখা থাকে এবার যখন তুমি এদের জব ডেসক্রিপশনটা দেখবে জব ডেসক্রিপশন থেকে কিছু কিছু কিওয়ার্ড তুমি দেখলে বুঝতে পারবে সেই কিওয়ার্ড গুলোকে ট্রাই করবে তোমার রেজুমের মধ্যে পুট করা অলওয়েজ তো কি হয় তাহলে কি হয় ওরা ওই কিওয়ার্ড দেখিয়ে করে এরা কোনোদিন তোমার রেজুমে হাতে পড়ে সিলেকশন করে না খুব কম কোম্পানিতে করে মোস্ট কোম্পানি ওই একটা ওদের টুলস লাগানো থাকে এআই টুলস যেখানে ওই ওয়ার্ডস গুলো ওরা ট্রাই করে ফাইন্ড আউট করে তোমার ফাইন্ড আউট হলে তোমার রেজুমে অটোমেটিকলি সিলেক্ট হবে অটোমেটিকলি তোমার এতে কল চলে যাবে ওদের পোর্টালে ওই জিনিসটাই হয় কোনো এইচ আর হাতে করে অবশ্যই দেখে না फिल्टारेशन पोस्ट रिपोर्ट बनाते रिपोर्ट बनाते दरकार दें डायरेक्ट पोर्टल 
शुरू कर समय प्रत्येक दिन दो घंटा तीन घंटा बस अलरेडी उथ पाइथन प्रपार कोडिंग जिज्ञेस करते मीडियमेशन कमन जिन डायबिटीज उटन क्लैसिफिकेशन खुब कैम मडल स्केलर इज लाइक 
পরে তোমরা করতে গিয়ে তোমরা বুঝতে পেরে যাবে আর অলরেডি ইয়েতে দেওয়া আছে তোমাদেরকে যেগুলো আমি দিয়েছি সেগুলোর মধ্যে অলরেডি আছে এগুলো এগুলো প্রপারলি ডিসপোজ আছে মডেল বিল করছো ঠিক আছে কত পার্সেন্টেজ রোড রিপেয়ারমেন্ট হয়েছে তো এবার যখন রোডের উপর কাজ করছে তখন কিছু রোড হয়তো টেন কিলোমিটার হলো কিছু রোড হয়তো টু থাউজেন্ড কিলোমিটার হলো বুঝতে পারছো কিছু রোড হয়তো ছশো মিটার হলো তো এই যে এই অ্যামাউন্টে যে স্কেলটা এতটা হাই হয়ে যাচ্ছে না তখন তোমার মডেলটা কি হয় মডেলটা অ্যাকুরেসি কমতে শুরু করে দেয় কারণ এতটা মডেল রান করতেও অসুবিধা আছে কারণ এই ক্যালকুলেশন হিউজ হয়ে যায় সেই সময়তে তখন কি করতে তখন আমাদের একটা স্কেলিং করতে হয় আইদার লগরে তুমি স্কেল হোক বা যে কোনোই হোক ডিপেন্ড করছে তুমি কোন বেসিস হবে করতে পারো তোমাকে সব সময়তে যেটা লেখা সেটা নাও করতে হবে তোমার নিজেও ডিপেন্ড তুমি নিজেও কিছু করতে হবে কিছু করতে হবে তো এরকম কিছু কিছু টেকনিক আছে যেখানে তোমার স্ট্যান্ডার্ড স্কেলার হয় যেখানে ওই টেকনিকটা ইউজ করি যেখানে অলরেডি আমরা ওই ইয়েটা তোমার ডেটাটাকে পুরো স্কেল করে একটা কাইন্ড অফ মেট্রিকে নিয়ে আসি যে মেট্রিকে আমাদের রান করা হিউজ সুবিধা হয় ঠিক আছে তো ইন জেনারেল বলতে গেলে আমাদের যত ডেটা হয় আমরা নাইনটি নাইন পার্সেন্ট ধরে রাখো আমরা নর্মালাইজেশন ছাড়া হয় না ইন জেনারেল নর্মালাইজেশন বলা হয় এগুলো স্ট্যাটিস্টিক যখন পড়বে আমি যখন পড়বো তখন আমি বুঝিয়ে দেবো এই কিছু কিছু জায়গাতে খুব ইউজ হয় যে তোমার বক্স কোস ট্রান্সফরমেশন কিছু কিছু জায়গাতে রোবাস স্কেলার তারপরে কিছু জায়গাতে লগার তুমি স্কেলার ঠিক আছে কিছু জায়গাতে তোমাকে কোশ্চেন ট্রান্সফরমেশন মানে কাইন্ড অফ ইয়ে ট্রান্সফরমেশন যেটা হয় বেলসে মানে নর্মালাইজেশন যেটা হয় डेटा पार्सनलिटी ब्लग पा लजिस्टिकारोथिंग ट कर 
ফারিজি Okay, how much you will explore even in Panda? Like uh, there is one data set you can take Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow data set. You can download this. What is this? Stack, oh, sorry, Stack Overflow survey. You will see because uh, this is this is one of the good data. It's good available data because uh, many types of people when they are exploring material in the Stack Overflow, they keep to try to store all of their information. Mostly whatever they will be exploring and visually those kind of data they will store and from year by year they will try to post publicly. <coughs> so. Uh, this something uh, i had to find in my other hard drive but the good the useful data and columns are there where you can like practice your panda skill okay so the more you try to apply your panda skills the more you will know and uh this will this should be handy like uh, pandas and numpy and on the other hand sql and one bi tool these four tools if you are if you are in handy then you are more than enough to get yourself and get your start as a data analyst or applied scientist or applied data scientist okay or applied data analyst this kind of reasons okay so for pandas i already tried those all each and everything i have written i also had one bigger module of pandas first you completed this then i will send it to your group okay and uh, because it take time it will lock a lot of time if i start writing each and every single line of code right now so it will take time so that's why i already had written that okay so pandas is nothing but if i give you the simple basics concept then the data frame data frame means the data we we store is most of the tabular format if if are if those are not tabular format then you have to convert it into a tabular format sometimes your data can be in that format okay like um uh, today later on i will see you those codes uh, well, there is one the zomato data set yes you can see in the <clears throat> zomato data set the data is mostly json format okay you can see json format json format means javascript oriented okay so mostly in the kind of dictionary the same things i told you in that uh, json part the how we can you can use those technique to convert your json into csv file okay you may use your own technique sometimes you may you can use some third party tools to convert your json format to csv format but in the end you have to bring your data set into your tabular format otherwise <coughs> the work you will do may not be like kind of suitable or maybe hectic for your rest of your work so always uh, the json is a pretty common format that you will receive your data in your real life scenario not a single person will give you in the format of csv not a single person uh, even whatever industry you will be working on in your future you will see you have to fetch the mm -hmm. data based from your uh, some kind of data database or maybe some kind of server so either you have to create one api to fetch the data or maybe some uh, database knowledge or maybe some domain knowledge to fetch the data from there 
Okay. So always those, those parts are pretty vital part, I will say. Even the more we learn when you work in the real life scenario. But for now, as for our simple understanding, we'll get, uh, we'll uh, already prepared some data set into a CSV format. So we'll get that idea. And so in the tabular form, like if I open one data set, say suppose this one, the letter you know, this, uh, if, we, if you see, then the format is nothing but, if you see the concept nothing but a kind of format of dictionary, where you can say that dictionary has the element of not a single value as a list. Why? Because if it's a dictionary, then this can be treated as a keys, one of the dictionary keys, and the rest of them is be treated as a values. Okay, it may be list list of those each and every data. Uh, there is a seven lakhs, okay, or maybe six uh, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. How many data it will be? This is a format. This is a basic tabular format where each and every column there is some certain name that can represent the data, and the rest will be written. There maybe can be multi index. You can see sometimes you have to do some pivot operation for that. Okay. So this is uh, uh, in the next step. So whatever we will do, we have to mostly bring our data set into this tabular format. So in this tabular format, this entire set is called as a data frame. Okay. Or you can say that is proper structure format that <clears throat> is stored inside our database is a proper tabular structure or is a data frame. Okay. Each and every data frame, the one single column is represented as a series. You can call it as a series or we can call it as a 1D vector or simple vector. And you can also call it as in your computer science knowledge, you can call it as or maybe some mathematical sense, you can call it as a matrix line where there is a multidimensional data there. The more column are there, the more we'll treat it as a multidimension. <clears throat> okay. So those are the basic format. So for now, I'm not uh, for the learning purpose, not directly importing this data set, but later on we will do. Okay. And this one part, one single element is series. That's why in our format, uh, in our data set, there is a written the series, is, series is a, yes? Is saying anything? Okay. So uh, you can see that the, Series is nothing but the 1D array. Sometimes people call this as 1D array. Some other kind of difference with there. Or maybe uh, the main difference is NumPy array and, and the series. The major difference people will, may ask. Okay. So series, you can simply say the series has a dimension. Okay. If it's in 1D, then it's in one dimension. Dimension means you can label it. Okay. If it's an, if we delete the rest of the column only, it's, uh, select this part, then you can label it in because you use some uh, some indexing. Here is uh, some indexing number. So you can treat this as some dimensional data, but in NumPy array, it's a not, it's a zero, it's a no dimension. It's a simple word array, array-like structure, but some same similar types of data are being set or some treated. So that's the basic difference that people can ask. What is the difference between a NumPy array and series? You have to say that a series has a dimension. Okay. It maybe has one dimension, but it has a dimension. So we can properly label it. These are label or indexing. But in the NumPy, we cannot label it. Okay. For our purpose, maybe some operation we can do, but in the NumPy, that is simply the address structure. And we can we cannot put a, any like label inside or array. So that is the difference. Otherwise, the most of the work will be you can see pretty same. So <coughs> if the uh, pandas, if you work in Jupyter Notebook only, then yes, if you work in Jupyter Notebook, then majorly you don't have to install pandas. Okay. If there is not pandas in, this, in your Jupyter Notebook, make sure you install in your Anaconda, Anaconda environment where you can open your Anaconda prompt. And here you can write like pip install your pandas. 
or if you only install in your global environment, then you can simply open your prompt and directly like install pandas. Similar to install pandas, it is as my already installed, so it's already satisfied. Some upgrades are there, but already satisfied. So may, uh, most of the time, uh, if you use this Zubitan uh, notebook, then most of the libraries you don't have to install here in your system. Okay, maybe in that environment. And one more thing, the uh, things I said about the collab, if you don't it like, if uh, pandas are slow in your system, you open Google collab. Yeah, welcome to, you can log in your account. Okay, so 15 GB space are there. Something like say recursion and scope or maybe least comprehension. You will see most uh, the same exact same select structure from where you can open your notebook, you can upload your notebook, IP when we file. Okay. So you, you also download your in any format, either is IP when we file or PYV, but in general, our cell life structure, we use IP when we file. That's how you can open and uh, upload and download. You can uh, open from your drive in your, uh, your drive. And then similar, uh, like write your code and say either you type shift enter or, or control enter or here this low, I mean, this button. Okay, simply click that and it will start running. Okay, it will first connecting to some kind of database. It all means uh, you already see the server from which server, some how much RAM, how much uh, device of space you are using. It from the starting connection, it will take time. Then rest will you can uh, means pretty much run each and every maybe until the neural code in this collab. Okay, you can see that RAM and this that we can easy. Okay, uh, that 12 GB of RAM and kind of 100 GB of disk I can use okay, for our free service. So that's how we, uh, you can use Google Collab here. Even you, uh, and one thing is if Jupyter Notebook, the file I am sending, you just download it and come here and upload that file here. Okay, you, can, you have to upload from this button upload it and then you can like suppose or uh, this one some tensor flow code upload it then upload over right and all that and it will upload it then you can open that file from here okay even some if you want then there is one new module called Jupyter lab that you can also use but for now let's uh, only start with Jupyter then the more we will go then then the next you can install some new tools like Jupyter Lab and all. Okay. So if your system maybe as uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes you may have Potatoes PC. Okay, sometimes you may have less than 4, G, 4 GB of RAM. If you have a RAM to run your Chrome command, then just open this Google Colab, upload it and start working on it. Make sure you do not use the current, uh, means your current email ID, you can create a new email ID. So you will get a more of 15 GB of space for your drive. So you can upload me, many and each and every file and it will be separated rather than your common personal file. So personal info, personal data may be mismatched. Okay. So this is called series. Series first you import it, even in your Google Colab, you don't have to install those uh, <coughs> basic mod <coughs> module. Okay. Sometimes if you uh, have to install this, then in general purposes, you don't have to. That already 200 to 300 module already installed in your Google Colab. Okay. So you don't have, don't have to need that to install some kind of new libraries. Okay. There is one where you can see the terminal. I forgot that where you can see also the terminal from your Google Colab, but it's okay. You don't need that much. 
so if you have like in your system is slow sometimes just using google chrome okay maybe uh, for the time the space you can clear if you are already installed anaconda navigator you can clear the space maybe some pycham and other software you already so you can clear the space and you can use google color and that space you can use to install some uh, database like mysql or maybe some power bi file okay so this is called uh, we after uploading those importing those libraries we can give this as an analyze so pd we do not have to run pandas in each and every single line okay so we give us a analyze sometimes some command like say import uh, import matplotlib <coughs> matplotlib pyplot so when you write this big number sometimes some spelling mistake can be done okay some silly mistake can be happens so generally we give it as ally something so we give it as ally as say suppose plt so in the next time when we run it we did not have to write this big line or big word we can simply write plt to represent that so we will use analysis analysis is really necessary sometimes you uh, when you work with sql some table joining will be there so the column will become really big when you join two columns that time you definitely use some analysis to represent from one table and from the another table so the mismatch will not be done there okay so the errors will be avoided so now the creating series it's not necessary much but uh, for our learning purpose you can know that we can create each and every single the scan <coughs> Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, just power here. The power cut head. Okay. So, hmm. the creating series is nothing but where we can create from each and every like our uh, continuous data type. Either it's you can call it as a list, or maybe call it as a dictionary, or maybe call it as a as your sets. Okay, each and every continuous data element and also the data should not be always have to integer or some list or uh, some dictionary or some set you can create each and every single any kind of data set you can convert it or maybe create it as a series or maybe data frame if it can also take it as some a building function sometimes you can create objects okay each and every time if uh, the data data mostly in format of if you check the data type mostly in general the data format will be written as your object so don't get confused as written as object because data string can be called it as an object and the miss apart from the integer part the rest of the data type will be stored as an object in your data frame or maybe series okay so this is some dead uh, data some labels are there this is our label hello sir yes sir sir one more time please hmm. Achha. so i was saying that each and everything when like this one if this is our data set okay some something the data data frame i'm importing so uh, we will uh, show you that time when we import that that each and every single uh series or maybe call data frame will be treated as an object maybe which, which you know this is one simple nothing but a string file but don't get confused if the data type will be written when you type type check the data type sometimes it can return as an object object 32 or object 64 some kind of that so don't get confused it can be treated as your string data type okay you may have to some command is do that you can convert it for your some kind of operation but if this thing will uh, written as an object is mostly you know, most general will be treated it has a string, the string data type. Sometimes you can work with images, that time the uh, matter is different. <coughs> so most of the time when you import data, the data can be treated as an object. And object is, object can be each and everything. It can be sometimes 
okay for our purposes say some kind of analysis we need to do and we created some kind of built-in function and store it in that column okay in that case some 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 function it function some string function okay we can also store that because it support each and every kind of data type okay we can store that and then for our next purpose like uh, use that built-in function to proceed some kind of new operation we can also do that but the data type it will be written as an object okay it will be not written as a uh, built-in function that's what i am saying sometimes those uh, only most of the time the numbers can be imported can be treated as c as your integer sometimes it's by by default that python did that otherwise it can also be uh, right you can see the right as your object so we have to simply nothing but for our integer operation just type convert into the integer and then we can do in the same time if we do some kind of string operation then we type convert to string and then we can proceed okay just like that we'll see when we'll upload the data we'll see so that's a, either it's a list of data or maybe some numpy array of data or maybe some dictionary of our, our data so it is each and every single of them can we can convert into our series okay it's uh, execute that then say suppose this is our uh dictionary of data or this is our numpy this our numpy array or maybe array okay. now to convert into our disk uh, to our series then we can simply use our pandas because pandas we can use already numpy uh, sorry allies as pd so we can use the function series function so pd dot series then in bracket the series take a lot of argument okay. if we check then you can give this as a some kind one argument you can give as a data then next is our index then some data type you can by default you can see some name you can say that's name of the series okay if it's a copy from some another part then you can also give some information like that in general for our basic purpose we use the data and index or maybe some data the index is also optional okay so here data we are be giving our list list with this one this is our data and i am giving one labels okay if we not read write any labels if you just let's uh cut that part to simply right then you can see automatically the index will be by a simple integer uh, integer numbers it will automatically take one index but if you have to forcefully give some kind of labels then we can write here that the index change equal to some change levels. Output, hmm. output in output abc in the... then abc 10 mm -hmm, correct yes uh, you were saying something yes sir. i was saying that so we will get the output in tabular format yes tabular format yeah each and every things we will be doing that uh, because our operation will be receiving the each and everything will be tabular form okay <coughs> sir actually sir tabular format sir actually the, the two dimensional format sub array yes tabular because I am mean, here using series. Series is nothing but one dimensional array. You can call it as okay. a one dimensional array, but the array data type and the series data is different. That's what I'm taking. Because when we call array, array means array has no dimension. It's a simple array. It's a simple kind of data type. Okay. You can, can you tell the list as a dimension? The simple kind of, it's a kind of numpy data type, numpy array data type, you can call it. So that's a major difference between the numpy array and the series. See, this is nothing but the same thing when we will be treated <clears throat> as your some kind of dimensional form. Here, series is a one dimensional form. That's, that's why we are calling it a one dimensional array. When it goes into much uh, higher, run, then we will call it a data frame, some kind of high dimensional, like two dimensional data or three dimensional data will be there. Okay. This is the major difference. I Many people can confuse on both, the, both those three things. That's why. So in general, uh, this is our for learning purpose. Yes, is we had to know because some kind of person may, may need it sometime. But in general, we'll be majorly working with our data frame, proper matrix or proper tabular structure in the next module. Don't do it. Okay. 
<clears throat> and yes, uh, you are saying that that as index we did, if we uh, execute that, then definitely the index column is index column will be added. Okay, it change. change. You can notice one more thing. We gave it as a list of number, but automatically the data type will be taken as a in sixty four. Okay. If I uh, write like say data type is uh, say int thirty two, I don't know if you have to write in column or not. You can see the data type automatically changes the int thirty two. Thirty two and sixty four is not nothing but because my system is in sixty four bit architecture, yeah, yeah, so that's why it automatically take as say it's sixty four bit. So the uh, higher the higher integer number it can support it. Nothing. More than, <coughs> but uh, by default most of the time people, but in system uh, uh, Python generated the thirty two format. This is created from a list, so it is. Next is yeah, the one thing I saw that if we not provide the index, then automatically the index will done here. Okay, and this mention always I will say you that. Always remember uh, means when you will do your uh, practical work, definitely write like data equal to something, index equal to something. That's a good way to use. If you write that my list, then comma labels, it will automatically treat the first is as a data, and next is as your uh, labels because for our function, this is in this in this order. The data then index. If we not provide the data and index, then it's not only it will execute. It will not show any error. Sometimes some function make may mm -hmm. can give you some kind of warnings, but it will not show any error. But it's always a good way to use, so you will remember that yes, the data is some like this part you will remember data is index. Sometimes you may confuse on your code why you will write something like my list then levels. Okay, maybe some kind of other other argument. So always it will also helpful for you and also for your teammates or maybe your manager. Sir, one one thing. Hmm. Uh, so zero one two, those are the index, right? Those are the index. So A B C, what are those? A B C also index because the labels you see na. This is the labels. I am giving some okay, okay, okay. my format of the index. Okay. Okay. I want that my first row is represented by the index number of A. You can okay. change so any index. So that means where. Defining index as A, B, and C. Yes, you'll see the more we will work now. The index sometimes what it we will have to in your real life scenario. Say suppose, uh, hmm, say suppose you were working on one series. Okay, say this one. This is our data. The uh, which I uh, uploaded the data, and I extract from that this one column. Okay, this is simple, nothing but our uh, in Zoom in the Zomato data, either it will be delivering or not. Okay, some restaurant data, and for that data, say I have to create the index based on your uh, restaurant ID. Okay, then we'll definitely purposely change the data and uh, in that restaurant ID as the index, and this one as your main series. Then we can work on further. Okay, some kind of visualization may need it, so that's it. It's completely uh, depends upon which work we will do. What is the purpose of our analysis, and then we can set index. We can reset index each and every. Okay, we can do multiple times. We'll see when uh, doing the data frame. We'll see. Okay. Hello, so sir. Take... Yes. Hello. Hello, yeah, sir. Carry on. Uh, I think that if the um, data have uh, four value and the index have only three value, then what happened? Don't worry. Let's see. Say suppose actually mm -hmm. it may occur. Okay, this is nothing wrong. It it can occur many times. Say suppose forty and fifty. Okay, this is our data. Yes. Okay, and now uh, this is our labels. Execute that. You will see. Length of the values. Actually, what we will do is, in general, those kind of errors, we uh, we always try to avoid it. Okay, so for that time, in our for our general purpose, we will never uh, I mean set 
as some uh, means by uh, our given index as a label okay so we'll upload that data file we'll uh, store means uh, we first get the data frame format or tabular data then we'll try to match from the index okay we there is one command called uh, save from that command we'll try to connect that uh, which what's the maximum row number is matching with the maximum row number of our index okay if that uh, uh, condition is satisfied then only we will try to proceed into giving that index as a, some kind of labels okay that's our real life scenario so before going in that part we will work on like two steps there will be like one steps where we will try to find say some data frame name the code is data frame some kind of data frame name dot save so it will gives you the dimension so you will get the row number and the column number and some kind of index index column okay dot save if that only match then we'll go into some set index okay some set index okay this is our common this is how we will do it generally okay, okay. Otherwise, in those kind of errors will learn. That's what I, I told you. The more you will do the practically, the more the more you do experiment, the more you will understand. The more we'll uh, do errors. Okay. So uh, for our general purpose, because when we get the index as our def default volume is default integer. Then <coughs> Sir. Default yes. Sir, you took the labels as a list, right? So, mm -hmm. can we use dictionary instead of that? Yes, we can. Suppose, okay. if, we, if, we, if I ask you, say, suppose this is our dictionary, right? this is our dictionary. If we if yeah. we convert it into series, what will happen? Just uh, uh, don't have to like execute, just think. If I just convert this one as a dictionary, what will happen? Yeah, sorry, if we yeah, convert this one series. as a series, then. So index should be A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the value should be 10, 20, the and 30. 10, 20, mm -hmm. 30. That's automatically happening. Yeah. yeah so, uh, this so is the C, hmm. you are, you, you actually the index or value will be the uh, like a column again. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, the greatest advantage of using Python or maybe the modern language, Java, modern Java C, automatically puts the transition automatically some transition, some modification that Python automatically did. So, we get the minimize, minimize the error format. So, we do not have to like purposely like this is one is dictionary. So, we have to mention that this one is key, this one is value. No, just simple. There is some codes in there. Yes. You can see the code in there. Automatically, it will be stored. Automatically. Okay. Either it's a list or it's maybe some array. You can see automatically it, it can convert into this. And some some logically correct they will. Okay. So whatever the data format will be doesn't matter. It will automatically change it into some kind of desired format. Okay. So this is series. Uh, yes, this is one term I was writing that the pandas series can hold a variety of object types. Okay, variety of object types is either it can store that string data to value or you can convert it to some built-in function. Okay, like sum, sum is a built-in function sum, built-in function print, built-in function length. Okay, but as I told you that object type, you can see that it has an object. So always each and everything apart from the integer, it can return as an object. It doesn't just loading up as an object means some kind of uh, object types or why this is written as object because you already know the basic oops part. Okay, how those things are the nothing but the auto uh, already some created object from the base class defined in our backend of our Python. You already know that string those kind of things. So that's why each and everything will be treated as a object. Nothing but. 
So and uh, whatever the data type will be doesn't matter. But series can convert each and every types of it. Okay, these are same simple part means that object series is sometimes some kind of what what if you are importing one uh, music file, then if you definitely if you do some kind of research, okay, then there is also some kind of TF idea vectorization we had to do. Okay, uh, if we know the uh, NLP natural language processing, I also had one project on it. So that time the data form we have to create it as your dot h5 format then from that format we can create it into our csv file okay so in the end we have to bring our data to our that level the data frame level, then we can do our further analysis okay so this is simple we can uh using that index so we can use well i mean whatever thing we have to use, just make sure the shape should be equal. Here we're creating the uh, in series in that list of numbers, but the index will be some kind of into, uh, country name, it's a string file. We can easily create like that. Okay. This is same things. Okay, so now suppose we have to get that value of this file means this indexing then we can write like that our uh, series name the record the exact same thing we did it list or maybe <coughs> the exact <coughs> same idea we did already learned from the python the base knowledge that all each and everything will be applied here okay you can get the value of the usa from that index number okay. this is uh the same things we did uh, the same thing uh, we'll be doing and uh, using the data frame that time in that inside the third bracket we'll write the column name okay so get the entire column value for the series because series is just nothing but a one column so we'll write as index okay then series is nothing but we can do if the, if the integer value then you will know that we can do all kind of mathematical operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, modulus value, mean value. Okay, the basic operation we can do. I did not write like that. You can try it, but it's simple. It's not necessary. Okay, but one more thing is you can see that when we added two data, like this one are uh, one and this is our two series. Okay, both of them are the integer value, but Python, what it will do, it will by default convert it into a decimal value so that if there is some decimal values are inside there okay so you will loss you will not i mean it's loss those decimal values so only getting the integer from it okay so automatically it will convert it into the um, data table will convert it into our voting or maybe some decimal format so here you can see when we did the multiplication so that time the data will convert into float 84 okay and one more thing is is we can see why this is called the nand value because the index is not matched okay the us us matched so it will did the mathematical multiplication this one matched so it will do but when this value is not matched you can see then this is gives us our nand value you can see depends upon the five types of debt means one us germany so none, so none means nan means nan means uh, nan means nothing but nan is a null value okay. not a number or not, not a number, number. Not, not, not a number. number you can say but for that point uh, here you can treat it as a nan means it's a null value okay the difference between is null is not zero sometimes people can confuse between the null value and the zero value no uh, sometimes some garbage value can also treat it as a value okay some kind of maybe some uh, cookie file maybe some other kind of garbage file some log uh, log file can be stored you can also treat it as a, some kind of value but when there is na nan means it's a not a number a not a number is nothing but uh, if it okay this is not a number then what it will be some kind of string value no nan value is nothing but a null value but there is no existence this is empty okay because that's uh, when you will treat it, I mean, when you import the data, 
definitely you will receive some kind of NAND values there with that because in real life scenario, not the data will not be the part present. So we have to trade that NAND value. That is the one major part when we will do in your data preprocessing. Okay, how you can trade the NAND value means missing value. Okay. So the five indices are there, US, Germany, USSR, Italy, and Japan. So three values match it, US, Germany, and Japan. You can see three value will get Germany, Japan, and USA. But for Russia, UA, USSR, and for the Italy, index didn't match, so it will uh, get, treat as a NAND value. Okay. Some kind of, you can say it's nothing but some kind of joining. Okay. Suppose uh, if I give you, a basic idea like suppose this is one table one one d table okay this is another one d table and when we join suppose some value some value some value are there some value are there when you join, join definitely you already know if you had some kind of basic idea that we have to join based on some kind of keys. Some kind of, some kind of based on some logic separator. we have to join. Yes. Separator. Not, not separator. Some kind of uh, basically say keys. Okay. Based on okay. some keys or maybe some uh, common element, the better I will say the common element we had to join. Because delimiter, like del, hmm. like delimiter. Oh, I will properly explain when we will do the school. Otherwise, it will be hard. Okay. Okay. okay because uh, join, if you know, it will start taking from each other from that element and start to join this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. Then whichever the common element match, okay. Then the, only that file will be taken we'll discuss because join join is the major item that you all guys need to know when the in the uh, sql session we'll discuss but here if sometimes say uh, this is different element okay and this is different element means this element is different from those two table and this one is like this one this one and this one I give you some visual representation. Those are the common elements. So when we will do, and if we filter that element, then only the common element will be matched. Okay. And rest will be some kind of non-value, or maybe if you filter it out, or maybe you don't need it, then the non-value will not be there. The same kind of it is based on some kind of a, some some columns of data will be there. Some from some basics value, we can do the join. If there is no basis value, then we cannot do the join. If it's just cross join or vision in the single letter, then all over each, each term will be overlapping. Okay. So always when you have practical sense, when we do the kind of join, then there will be some kind of basis value. Okay. From that basis, we'll try to join. So there will be some uh, like it's an inner join or it's an outer join. It's an, uh, <coughs> left join or right join. We'll discuss because join is a, one of the most important term in our database knowledge. Okay, most important term. Okay, this is our series. Then next we'll go for the data frame. Okay, data frame is simply by nothing. Data frame is, as I told you, that's nothing but the tabular structure. This is a, uh, this format is nothing but taken as the data frame. Okay, now. After importing that, this is where creating, this is nothing but some model function that we can use from the NumPy. So where the rand, what is rand in that? The last day we'll do nothing but generated the number, random number in a distribution from a distribution. Okay. So uh, here we're giving as a random seed, random seed, uh, if we this term, if you already played some kind of server game, if you are if you play games and all apart from the mobile gaming, but if you some kind of server games, then there will be some even things that people will say the seed is different. 
if you played minecraft and kind of rob minecraft and roblox kind of game then there will be one time you already heard that seed seed is nothing but it's a randomly position from your memory okay so we are taking a random position from our memory so that some value we are some random value we can receive okay so maybe if we continuously we did not change that seed if we continue working on that current seed then our current working file or the current memory some value can be repeated okay so that's why we always change the random seeds if you already played minecraft there is also term is called uh one one thing is called seed number people used to store you can see people used to store the seed number seed number is what from that uh, database their database the exact seed number you currently playing or working so whatever you will be playing or some kind of playing is nothing but creating new programs to creating some uh, introducing some storage and all so your seed your current mobile version is completely different right completely to the another random player that's me okay so this and uh, I, I will say some based on the com com completely computer science logic where people used to create the random seed either they will be working on some kind of project or maybe some testing after developing some ideas either it's a model or program or a other thing you have to take and random areas from that memory then definitely you will work on the random seed number okay so that whatever things they will be working on that may not be needed it's not yeah uh, i will say it's not important but it is an interesting things to know then for our data frame if we write like simple uh, say first this is our random number and if we write random 5 comma 4 you can see you can see it's nothing but in that dimension from the 5 cross 4 not the dimension from the 5 cross 4 matrix it will generate this value where five rows are there and four columns are there okay this is the work on the normal distribution is simply nothing but it generates a number of uh, random values okay I didn't remember that random is a normal distribution or the standard distribution, but maybe uh, some from some distribution there's some now random generated value will be there. Okay, now this is one tabular format, so we can create this one as our data frame. So we can write like pd dot data frame and pass that value the data equal to. You will see in the data frame there is also some kind of data equal to something but in general we did not write here data equal to none because most of the time we will be importing some help some csv values when we are converting so that's why here i am just nothing but from that value we will be generating this one as a uh, <coughs> data frame later we will know that how we can import and how we can work on this okay so if you execute that so automatically this will be created as a data frame Okay. by default because the index we are not passing anything so automatically this is our column value our column name 0 1 2 3 and this is our row value 0 1 2 3 1 now you can ask one thing that's uh, the row row name or the index or the column name or the labels uh, are the different hey uh, sorry are the same so is there any kind of mismatch will be there so the answer is no there will be no mismatch because the working operation or the working syntax or working command for getting row row is completely different to getting the columns okay so there will be no dis no mismatch in it so this is our random generated one data frame now here we can pass some <coughs> index value okay some index value in our uh, list format say we because it should be in some kind of continuous data format okay ac some kind of will be there some list format will be there now here i will write like that like some list say a b c d e okay this is our string 
Now for a single line, how we can convert it is as a list. So we can split that. We can just simply write dot split and nothing else. So it is nothing but created in the format of list. Okay. Now you can either deed one uh, take one variable to store that data and then pass it there or directly pass here. So if I run like that, then it automatically change it into the uh, index. Okay. Or maybe uh, you can do direct exact syntax here in that index. Okay. The same things we did for the columns and columns will give you some num uh, some name to represent the columns. Okay. This is as for I'm creating the value. That's why I'm giving the index and the columns. In general, when we import major time, we did not write it in anything. We just simply import the CSV value. Sometimes we have to, by default, providing some kind of index. Okay. That time we can provide that index value and that's all. In most of the time, we did not hinder the uh, columns value already we, we received. Okay. Now for our learning purpose, we did. We created one data frame from our random value of this five cross four matrix and some index now is A, B, C, D and some column name will be W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Execute. Now execute that. This is our data. We are using the DF. This is a standard way, only the industrial way to call a data frame is a DF. Sometimes you have to uh, store some train and test data. You can write like DF underscore train, DF underscore test. But when most of the time will be some variable written as a DF or DF1 or DAAF or DF underscore new is nothing but mm -hmm. people will know it will represent some kind of data print. Okay. So it's not a uh, mandatory way or maybe syntax to write uh, your data frame name is a df but most conventional way so not only you all also your people also understand that you are nothing but working on some kind of data frame. Okay. sir hmm. uh, sir so before giving index and column values uh, we got a b c d e hmm. so those are the by default values or no no i am purposely given that there is nothing by default value because if I did not pass anything here, you will see. Zero, zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. This is by default value. Okay. okay. By default value, you are zero. Mm -hmm. Because all, all the time, it will take integers by default value because uh, this <clears> one reason is, yes, is simple. Uh, by default, there is nothing much to, uh, nothing much complex to do in our data frame. So we can simply, uh, Python can do some kind of basic operation, basic integer value to put that. But one more thing is when we you will do some row selection of the column selection. Okay. Sometimes maybe suppose you have to select this column and that column. Okay. This column and that column. That time there is two conventional way to do that. Okay. One is I lock and one is lock method. Lock LOC lock means location. We will see today. Location is nothing but will change that uh, when we are using location dot loc then that time we have to particularly mention that exact index name or exact Rolling. column name okay this is the one way and one of the good way to use the i lock is that you did not have to mention that uh, column name or index and sometimes you may not know some complexity will be there so you can simply write the index uh, integer or some indexing position of that location that's why it's called i lock those two are the most conventional way and the most simple way is because a simple write or like the same thing we did for our <clears throat> dictionary. Okay, we can simply write the dictionary name and the bracket, we can write keys to get the value. Same time, same things we can do here in our key also, our data frame also. Okay. So this is our data frame, this is our data frame. Now suppose I have to get that value of this column W. We are simply write in the bracket, say uh, W and get that value. Okay. This is the most simplest way, but uh, we will do in I lock and the lock methods also. Yes, you can see that when uh, one 
things people also confused here is first this is a selection say for the w as i told you d m is a bracket then w okay now suppose i have to get two value either the w and the z you can also write like df in the bracket at w and then z so w then comma z that's the least way you you, you may know that the, uh, from our no uh, conventional we did know since the python we started learning in execute that then obviously there is key error okay the same things we uh, the same problem we faced when we did in dixon so these times yeah, df tries to do is it will try this is as a key okay so definitely double bracket yeah, yeah, double. Uh -huh. sir one more thing hmm. uh, sir instead of wxyz if hmm. we write abcd in capital hmm. Uh, hmm. so we have abcd in capital and abcd hmm. in capital so hmm. what will happen if i type D it will take if we write here say yeah a b c d column values or row values hmm. you'll see a b c d will occur automatically as i told you now because it doesn't matter no, no, when you access hmm. no no i'm saying now if we write df hmm. inside the brackets uh, a so hmm. what values we will we get column values that, or that that's values? why i told you that, that only column value uh, only column value only, only column, column value, value it will be displayed because the syntax is only for column value okay column this value. doesn't matter uh, yes it just doesn't matter because for only taking as our uh, row value <clears> then the syntax is completely different when you get like that is only receive as a column value okay so that's why to get our value means our either it's a row value or index value definitely we can use df dot log or uh, df dot loc or df dot iloc okay then we can write the proper logic okay so whatever the same index it if you pass through there is no uh, means no bother there will be no issues because the syntax will be did for our process completely different for row and different for columns okay clear yes sir so because this is this is not <clears throat> the right way we were getting the key errors so in bracket this is our bracket okay in general you will know that in this bracket if you write comma there is this portion you can say something that represents some row and this portion is something represent for column okay if there is one row you can simply write it's or no not the comma uh, maybe some colon so for one row you can simply write one name okay uh, and sorry this colon sign is nothing but it's representative a uh, from starting value to end value and comma is representing it's an end so it's a comma so for the one single value we can write one single row if there is multiple row we need to know then we can write here say suppose uh, for our row say suppose b okay. this is our b if we change that say uh, let's change it this is our data frame now if we write d for b what will happen it will a, definitely give you the key error why because b is nothing but our index row index it is not the uh, your column okay so syntax is always different if whatever you will do syntax is different for row and the column now uh, yes and i will say the better you will do for the simple like suppose this value say this is this column value you can simply write here yes why and get that value but for a better purpose say suppose some kind of this row value i had to prepare this is the row value and the column will be y and z so only this two value so that time definitely use loc and i loc function okay sir after question is mm hmm sir the ekane dot split tak can you use column? Mm -hmm. I mean, what are the MD, sir, MD index? 
এমনি ইনডেক্স যদি আমি এখানে নরমালি নরমালি আর কলাম নাই নরমালি হ্যাঁ নরমালি যদি আমি নরমালি এখানে স্পিড করি তো এটা একটা তো সিন এ স্ট্রিং ফাইল হ্যাঁ এক্সিকিউট করো কেসি কারণ ইনডেক্স মাস্ট বি কলড এ কালেকশন অফ সাম কাইন্ড দ্য সেম থিংস আই সেড দ্যাট ইট শুড বি সাম কাইন্ড অফ সাম কন্টিনিউয়াস ডেটা টাইপ না সাম লিস্ট সাম টপল সাম স্ট্রিং স্যার স্যার ও কোডটা একবার দেখি স্যার আমি দেখব স্যার কোডটা দেখব কোডটা একবার দেখব হুম হুম আমি দেখেন তারপরে কোডটা দেখি ওকে বাট স্যার আমি যদি ইনডেক্সটা স্যার এ করি কি বলে নামটা কি ইনডেক্সটা স্যার একটা লিস্ট হ্যাঁ সেটাই তো বলছি এর মধ্যে রাখি তো ওটা কি হবে না তাও হবে ধর ইনডেক্সটা ধরুন একটা লিস্টের মধ্যে রাখলেন কলমটা একটা লিস্টের মধ্যে রাখলেন আর স্প্লিট গুলোকে আপনি সরিয়ে দিলেন হুম এই যে সেম থিং আই শোড ইউ দ্যাট আইদার ইউ ক্যান রাইট দিস ওয়ান ওকে 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 মিন্স ইটস এন লাইক শর্ট ওয়ে ওকে 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 সো গেট দ্যাট ডু in general i did that because it's also like gives you a confusion to uh, like get a new idea okay it's a new learning that's why i write like that so you can also use the all kind of functionalities and each and everything we learn because in general when we do this all kind of operation na in the single line we will do multiple types of operation we will not write like single line then the okay, next okay. thing so that's a this and uh, i mean good over the common and the people will use okay and like in the last one we will see the eta but at that time you will understand that why you will do okay okay so in the speed it's automatically converted into either you can simply write as a list so it will take it it is means means the rule is we have to send some kind of collection of data elements okay some kind of continuous data elements otherwise it will not otherwise how by the way understand that it is nothing but a single value then it may be receive single value from that row a b c d then for the rest will be rest then nothing will be there okay <clears throat> okay this is important uh, yes now for the column yes for the single row i can write for the multiple column you can write like this w and z so w and z column is there make sure you should pass when there will be the multiple data we want to pass the multiple data should be in the format of some kind of collection either it's a list or tuples that is the rule of data frame or each and every logic in the python because we want to get from that two data from that two series or maybe some two part of our data frame so that time we have to give it as a collection of the data element okay <clears throat> maybe here uh, some row element we can write like say i could not remember that part we write here mm, this is not working but maybe this is not uh, this, this we cannot use like that we can we have to use that log and i log function for it okay hmm. so this is nothing but select selecting simple columns okay for our simple columns maybe uh, say suppose this is our column uh, for now w and z now we have to get that maximum value from each column we can simply write max dot max and execute we will get the maximum value from this two columns so always from when we will applying each and every method from our pandas we will write the data or the data frame then dot then our <coughs> functionalities okay so that's why if we write let suppose uh, df dot w then is nothing but obviously it will print the column of w the w column it will be printed so this is also another way you can write but it is not suitable because we in general mostly write our uh, some functionality syntax using the dot like i can see you can write like dot max so people can confuse and you can also sometimes get some kind of errors so people avoid people avoid this part but you can do like sample i uh, will say say suppose you have to get at a single point suppose the maximum value of this column you can simply write df dot w dot max or maybe sum okay. you can also write like it will nothing but gives you the uh, exact comma 
but people try to avoid it because the dot format is also this is a format of our SQL format. Okay, it's a kind of call in the SQL format because in the SQL when we will uh, get that value from your table or maybe some uh, table, then particular table name, then dot or particular column name, the SQL we will use. In Python, we try to avoid because some functionalities we can use or some method we can apply. Okay. Now type, uh, we are type checking the one column of a data frame. Then if I check the type, type check of one column, there is nothing but a series, which is single. That's it written as a pandas code dot series dot series. And if I check the entire one, or maybe more than a single column, say suppose type of df, then it's another data frame. Okay. If I write df, then bracket w, comma uh, say y okay then it's also considered nothing but a data frame when a only single or the one dimensional element will be there then it's nothing but our series and more than that it's nothing but color as a data frame it's as simple as that okay now creating the new column the uh, one of the easiest syntax is our data frame name in bracket our new column name okay then equal to some operation now we are uh, summation this two value i mean this w and x or w and z value and creating the new uh, new column so that's why i retained the new column name our uh, data frame name you can write syntax like that say data frame name then bracket inside column name equal to operations okay this is way to create the new columns okay now if we create it here if we check then the new columns will be there now <coughs> to remove that column you can simply create like uh, df dot drop drop is the common to removing a specific columns okay now if we drop then in bracket we have to write the exact column name which column name we want to re remove it if we want to remove multiple column then as i told you you have to give it as your as our collectible data element like list or tuples but for now we have written the single element and single written the new element so we have to return as a new Okay, the exact column. The next thing is we have to provide axis. Axis means from which basis we are, I am removing that. Means if I am retain axis as one, means nothing but I am removing the entire column based on the column base. Means this one, this up and down. If I return oh. the axis as a zero, okay, then is nothing but remove uh, this value. Okay. On the row basis, we can there exist. We can also write exist as a row or column. I guess not only the zero and one. We can also if I check. Yes, you can also write exist as a zero or exist as the index for a, based on the index means row basis or one or columns. Okay, by default it's a zero means it based on the yeah. Row based on the row, it will be deleted by default. But we have to provide because most of the time, we in general do all kind of operation based on the column operation rather than the row one. The row defines index. One defines row columns. Defines, that's the common way to call. The row are we represent in general represent as our index or labels, and the columns are nothing but columns. Are columns. Mm. Those are the idea. You also remember that. Because uh, sometimes when you work under some kind of managers or maybe some senior people, they can they can use those terms. That makes you can confuse uh, sometimes. Okay, it happened for me also. As sometimes that name and the term I got so got confused. So also remember that this is called axis, this is called columns, this is called index. Okay, this is all labels. This kind of stuff. So also we have to provide the axis, but one more thing is 
if we just uh, because sometimes this is our data no suppose say this is our data so for our purpose for our work purpose say i am removing this new format this is our column say so i do not want to make any hinder to our base data so we can take any new file say new underscore df so our <coughs> new data format or new data frame and store that so this file also stored clear so the file is not uh, lost we can access in the future times or maybe we can do one more thing is some basic data we can in the numpy you will see we can use a dot copy format so copy the entire data frame to then some kind of new uh, use some new data then we can df dot drop so drop that data file and we have to give give it and one more argument that's called in place equal to true some some uh, i will say two or three types of operation that has in place equal to true in place means in automatically removing also in that our that file so <coughs> if we write df uh, dot drop then in place equal to true then it will remove from our base df file also okay so when you did that when you did that you can see it's dropped that file but if we check our base data file the file is also there so when we'll write in place equal to true then actually the file is all removed okay now the same you can call uh, as i told you this is based on the column the same thing goes for the rows then we uh, df dot draw or index which index will be the index name and then x is equal to zero or x is equal to you can write index okay so the index values you drop but same thing if we, we did not write that in place equal to true so definitely this value will be there if we check this value are there clear in case of row axis is needed when you removing from that base on axis then definitely you had you need that because if i write e so it will remove the e row mm. values of the e row mm. so because we are removing we are removing based on the axis zero na? based on the index yeah. Yeah, index or maybe say index name or label so definitely you have to give the index name otherwise it will definitely if i write like say y you will see it definitely throw you the error key error because the y is not yeah, found in the y is not in the index level there is no y now we only see had a b yeah. c d and e okay that's all <clears throat> The more we will play with this, the more you will understand. There, that's the only major rule of pandas. Okay, because in pandas there is uh, you have to build that logic. The operation, kind of operation you will do, you have to build the logic. In the Python, we only know syntax. Based on the syntax, we can create that logic and we did that. But here, you already know the syntax. Now you have to create the logic. What you do? I want to delete. Enter completely row value. They definitely have to provide the row name or maybe the index like that. Clear, I guess. This is simple. This is uh, nothing much deep. Into the, the more difficult part you already know <laughs> that oops concept or maybe say Python. So yes, there is uh, also this is only the basic format that uh, some. I personally built one file of pandas. This is this has also a little digged into it, and it has the more data file. But first, complete that one. Then I will send you those next file. Okay. Now, simple selecting rows. Yeah. I the, I said the same things. Either you can use the lock or the i lock format. Okay. Say df dot lock. If I write like that, it is nothing but gives us the <clears throat> because in the log format there is uh, you check the syntax this is not written set lock in pandas 
always always provable means go for the documentation always if we start in some point as you can see in the log format there is for the single level okay single level a or maybe five as a level of the index okay or maybe some array of levels or maybe some slice like range clear from a to until the index of f okay so if we come here this is we are uh, printing the value of index of a the entire row from each column that's why you can see automatically this is represented the all of the single name the labels are represented column so from the w column the value is 0.993 this is that format okay nothing else if i get uh, say is writing differently say df dot log um, say suppose from a i want the value of index a and index d execute see the value of index a and index d of all column now let's check say i want to get that value of df dot loc the index a and until say index a until index d okay say i guess we did not have to pass inside that list yes so you not have to pass inside that list i can write like that also why you, you can ask why why i am not writing this as pass because i am not providing a uh, collectible number Okay, or collection element. This is collection element when I am writing a comma d. Now I am giving one kind of slice or range. So I am not providing start a collection element. That. It's something uh, yes, it's something nothing but creating from the start point to end point. You can simply write from the start point to end point. So here yes. end point is not uh, no here, minus here, one. Here it's not n minus n. one. It's from start from one yeah. to one to the end. Means the starting question is a until the starting question is d. Nothing else. It's nothing but slice or nothing else. Mm, okay. Slicing. Nothing but a simple slicing. You can also uh, write like say I want df dot log say this one uh, the index of or row of a and the row of d. You already know row of a and row of d. Now also I only had to print the column of x y z. You can write. X, Y, Z. Clear? Always this. Uh, I did one mistake there because I did not remember. Here I was writing uh, that comma part when I was writing. The comma part is not working in that by default format because it's a simple term to just representing one column element and all. So the one you is in the log file, then definitely the syntax is. First, some row, whatever you will root, and then slice or multiple row element or a single row element. Then comma first before comma will represent it our row. After comma is represent our column. Okay. So as because I am getting this is our a value and this is our d value, the last one. This is our d value and only the three. <coughs> only the three column value x, y, and z. So x y and z and this three value. Okay, it will be printed. You can also do the same things. Say you can also write like say df dot loc. Now if I want to get say a to say a to c range and the column range of x to z execute same thing. Then if you, if you uh, have the logic of same, then they, you will you will not start in each and every single thing. Okay. Okay. You you can more play on today's going late. I guess uh, I will take 
if I, I will take one more session okay in this week so i will finish the pandas and all for now it's going to 30 so this is loc that same same logic same things you can represent it in using i loc means integer location nothing else but the rule is it should be integer location okay if we not write any integer location the integer number then it will simply give us the error this is integer location of two means two what which one is two i guess b 0 0.17 no 0 1 2 a b c 0 1 2 means this is our uh, second index number of row value clear that's why it's printed clear the same things exact same things here how we written here the same things if we write say df dot ilc in bracket say for our row we can write start from 0 to 2 clear and for our column say 1 to 2 1 to 3 and execute it you will see but here definitely when you are using the integer value the same logic you know for that string slicing or list slicing and those concept it will applicable here because it's nothing but starting point until the end minus one starting so point sir, is zero yes uh, sir so is there anything called a step like... maybe it can be possible to let's see say zero two I will say because it's at zero uh, A B C D E na. So say zero to three. Or maybe not written here. Say if you just like this one. So yeah. Starting from the start position until going two. to end position and give a step jump of two. two. Let's see. Should happen. Yes. Mm, you can see by the step jump means A mm. B b is removed then c then d is you yeah. then e. yeah okay. this is this is the beauty of you will do the more play with it the more you will understand okay and the same thing when you will do the one one thing is that uh if you do df dot i log and you should not write any integer say if you write a if it definitely gives you the error because we are getting only the integer location of that index here. That's it. We cannot index the location with an in, uh, index with a non-integer. I, I define it integer. Mm. That's uh, one a good way to remember that lock defines lock and I lock. Lock is location. I lock is integer location. Best simple as. This is selection. We already saw that uh, from that B row and the Y column. B row Y column means. Um, this is our b this is our b this row and y column is this value only the single value minus 2.7 so you can see uh where is it? yes the minus 2.7 value is printed okay think, but the more you will play with it condition selection is nothing but we majorly will do this is what you can see for now but this condition selection will majorly use when we have to create one condition, maybe some kind of filter. Based on that filter, we maybe have to uh, retract some values. That time we definitely use the conditions. Say df greater than zero. So you can get this is our value, two, two, true, and two, false. true, false, false. Now, if I write here, if I ask you simple things, say df uh, in bracket, this is our filter. What it will happen? If I give the df in bracket, we are not writing any uh, column name. But I mean bracket, we are giving the condition. This is how we can filter out the data. Okay. This is how we are filtered out the data. Now, I want a data frame, enter data frame in bracket where the condition is true, means df greater than zero. Enter data frame where each and every single element will be checking based on this element if it is a greater than zero or not so this is our filter value true false true true false false now if we execute definitely false value will not be out at okay. the false value will not be came out here because it's ignored and the true part definitely we had to came out because that's our filter now. filter is nothing but it will uh, gives you the boolean value either true or false 
okay whenever or whatever we do will definitely always have the boolean value i execute you can see that only your w x y z the true value will be repeat, uh, uh, repeated and the false will be this does not repeat it simply replace because no value is repeated is nothing but a nand value this no values are there clear this is this is simple or uh, the main logic of it now you can create much complex logic say suppose only based on this w if uh, this based on this this value if this value is only greater than 0 df of w df of w is greater than 0 then only we will return that element so only this column is affected and rest will not be affected execute see so this is true so this value is printed then this is false because it's where based on this one particular column okay so for one particular column this value is automatically uh, ignored for that point so its entire axis is removed okay there is also one thing we can pass the next day I will tell you that where we can also get there some kind of NAND value. Okay. This is some kind of condition, but uh, you can, I will send you, you can just go through it. Okay. Later on, uh, when in the next day, I will some, I have some money hands on, yes. This from that part, I always explain each and every one, but detailly and thoroughly I can for the real life scenario. So in here, when we filter it out, um, yes, this is kind of filter. Say if this element is equal to to Haldar, if that part is satisfied, then only the value will be returned. Okay, or maybe. I want to get one data frame based on that. If the last name is uh, suited is there and the first name is suited is there. And only if that part is suited, then only based on this email value, this email value. We'll, in the next session, we'll uh, discuss from here. Okay, don't worry. You are for now, just uh, do some basic exercise for it. This week, I will try to take one more session to complete this pandas part out. Okay, and this is one EDA. The EDA part says suppose no Zomato data set. Today I did not have time. That's why next day I will uh, means detail mm -hmm. talk about CTA part, EDA on Zomato. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, data set. understand just one minute uh, yes this eda part as i told you that one part is df.info where we'll get that whatever the data type we have you can see that integer some integer some float are there and apart from the rest are nothing but written as an object you see, the data is written as an object. Okay, I will thoroughly explain those all those, but how, uh, what I did, what are those, what are heat maps, each and everything, I will thoroughly discuss, don't worry. I will give you for now. If you want, then definitely all this file, I can send you through groups once, today or maybe in the tomorrow, and I will give the data set. Okay. Okay, for now, let's,